I'm back for my next visit with Devin and Jacqueline and their cat, Baby Angel. Last time I was here, Baby Angel was struggling to carve out a spot among seven other cats to call her own. And because of that, the place was turning into a litter box. Now, before these guys could bring in a human baby, they have got to work out this problem. So I really hope they did. Look at this. Hi, honey. Aw, hi. <laughs> Honestly, the last time I was here, Baby Angel was crammed into a corner under the window. Now she's on the couch, sitting right next to Devin while she pets her. That means work got done around here. We've been working really hard. You have clearly been working really hard. <laughs> but she has to do it in her own way. So, before we get into any of that, let's start looking at your video homework. Angel. She's gonna get her blood work done and also a urine test to make sure she's fine. So the blood work and everything, you said everything was pending. Where are we at with that? So she has the starter crystal. So what that means is she doesn't eat, drink enough water. Yep. For baby Angel having crystals in her bladder, well, those crystals have to go somewhere. And if she pees them out, they're going to hurt. And that could be why she's been avoiding the box. Wet food will help keep pumping those fluids through baby Angel to keep her bladder and her kidneys healthy. I mean, I think bottom line, we got a lab result back that explains why she's going right outside that litter box. It was starting to become painful. So it's great that we caught that. I get to deliver all things good, which right now is food. Hi, Mama. You want some food? Mmm. There you go. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> Dinner. Breakfast Dinner. Breakfast in bed, man. Can I pet you from over here? Can I pet you? There you go. Aw. Yeah. Look at her right now. Mm -hmm. That is a big change for this cat. That has to, I mean, for you, because there was that whole thing about sort of you had this special relationship with her. Is it a good feeling? It's a great feeling. To watch this? Yeah, because I want her to feel secure and safe. And I told them I want to show you guys off. It is symbolic in a way mm -hmm. of making a family, making mm -hmm. a home, you know? I think Jacqueline did a great job. It's really hard to release a special relationship that you have with somebody. And she did that for the sake of unifying her family. And she was also a really good coach. More litter boxes. Okay, so this is the same area um, where Baby Angel has been peeing in the past. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yay, Angel. Hey there it is, right in there. So we're putting new box number two out. Free and clear so nobody can be trapped. Good. There's still a lid on top. Uh-oh. Caught her okay. in the act. In the act. Is she still continuing to pee outside the box every day? Yes. So that's a problem. Well, there's yeah. been a couple days she did not. The only place she's peeing is on that one potty pad in the office. So that is still, from what I can tell, the only box with a lid on it in the house. We still got a problem here, but we have a problem because somebody didn't listen to their homework. That lid was supposed to come off, and I bet you when it does, we're not gonna have a problem. So since I left, I mean, she literally, she was peeing everywhere. Mm -hmm. At this point, we're down to that pad outside the box? Mm -hmm. Mostly. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just take a second here. Yeah. Almost everything that we were hoping for in terms of the things that were really affecting her we're right on. I couldn't be more impressed with Jacqueline and Devin. I mean, it shows that they were very serious about solving the problem, but there's still some things about this place that are bothering me, and I just want to walk around, see if I can tweak what the couple has done here. So now, last time I was here, this was that sort of traffic jammy area. Yeah. It still is. I would really encourage you guys to continue to spread. This to me is sort of a territorial bottleneck. Now, Baby Angel is doing fantastic. She's not picking fights with the other cats, but with a bottleneck like this, you're asking for it down the line. I wanna make sure that I'm setting these guys up for success in the future. We're still seeing pee happen here every other day, something like that. We were seeing pee twice a day, every day. Yes. Okay, so we are 100% getting somewhere, but I want you to stop thinking about human convenience here because for your cat, there's no out. If any cat's in there, they can be cornered pretty easily. I'll leave with this. This is coming with me. It's, I, I, it's like Bye. collecting trophies. <laughs> the most important thing I could say about that lid is the cat is still peeing there. 
So try everything, whether it's getting rid of the lid, getting rid of the pee pads next to the box. There's one place left that she's peeing. It's now just a matter of deductive reasoning. So I feel like you guys have accomplished a tremendous amount. I got to say, you worked for this. You guys put together a home with a family, and it works really, really well. We're a pretty good team. Yeah. <laughs> now no, maybe the two-legged family. <laughs> I mean, that is, after all, why I came here. On top of all this, you guys really were wanting to get into fostering and possibly adopting a child. How do you feel about moving forward with that? I think we're now to that level where we can start thinking about that. I mean, listen, if you can make room for eight cats in this house and, and have peace, adding a child to it, hey, listen, I, I hope it goes well for you guys, uh, but I think it will. I, I mean, this is a wonderful home. You guys have a great family. All of Jackson's support and help with Baby Angel has given us confidence. We can face challenges together. Moving forward through fostering or adopting a child, we can really build a peaceful and loving household.